क्वेश्चन नंबर टू एक्सप्रेस एज रुपीज यूजिंग डेसीमल्स सो हियर दे हैव गिवन द पाइसेस एंड वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस इनटू रुपीज ओके एंड बाय यूजिंग डेसीमल्स नाउ लेट अस फाइंड आउट नाउ सो सेवेन पाइसे वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट इनटू रुपीज एंड वी हैव टू मेंशन इन द डेसीमल फॉर्म ओके यस एंड वी नो दैट वन रुपी इज इक्वल्स टू रुपीज वन इज इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड पैसे राइट हंड्रेड पैसे सो वन पैसे इज इक्वल्स टू वन पैसे इज इक्वल्स टू वन बाय हंड्रेड रुपीज राइट सो वन बाय हंड्रेड रुपीज सो वन बाय हंड्रेड रुपीज दो सो दैट सेवन पैसे इज इक्वल्स टू रुपीज सेवन बाय हंड्रेड राइट सेवन बाय Hundred. So the decimal form of seven by hundred is. So here we have denominator hundred, right? So hundred means. So after decimal point, it should be two decimal numbers. So we have to write seven in the place of hundred place. So after we have to write one more zero. Then we should keep point. So after we have to put zero, right? So therefore, see here we have. Hundred right denominator so that after decimal point we sh it should be two places so uh, tens and hundreds right so that seven pi c is equals to rupees zero point zero seven got it children yes and the next question number two seven rupees seven pi c so already they have given here seven rupees we have to convert this pi c into Rupees. Now already we know that so seven plus seven pi c right. So seven pi c means seven by hundred rupees right. Seven by hundred rupees seven by hundred. So seven plus so what is the decimal for for form of zero uh, seven by hundred? Seven by hundred means zero point zero seven right. So zero point zero seven. Now let us add so seven after we don't have numbers. Let us put zeros. So zero point zero seven. Now let us add. So seven zero point seven. So we got seven rupees seven paisa means seven point zero seven rupees. Got it, children? Yes. And the next question number three seventy seven rupees seventy seven paisa. So seventy seven paisa is equals to. Seventy seven by hundred rupees, right? So it means seventy seven by hundred means zero point seven seven rupees, zero point seven seven, right? So seventy seven paisa means rupees zero point seven seven. So now let us find out. So seventy seven rupees means seventy seven plus seventy seven paisa means zero point seven seven rupees. Let us add now. So seventy seven. Point zero zero, so zero point seven seven, right? So here we don't have place, so that put zero. So zero plus seven is seven. Zero plus seven is seven. Now seven plus zero is seven. Seven plus zero is seven. So that seventy seven plus zero point seven is rupees seventy seven point seven seven. Got it, children? Yes. Next question four. Fifty paise. So fifty. Already we know that one paise is equals to one paise is equals to one by hundred rupees, right? Yes. So fifty paise means fifty by hundred. So it means fifty paise is equals to zero point five zero rupees. Okay. Yes. Question number five. So question number five. Two hundred and thirty-five paise. So one paise is equals to rupees one by hundred. So two hundred and thirty-five paise is equals to rupees two hundred and thirty-five by hundred. So here we have hundred, so that we have to keep point two numbers before, right? So one two numbers after we have to keep here point, so that so two hundred and thirty-five paise is equals to two point. Three five rupees two point three five. Got it, children? Yes. 
so if we divide 235 by 100 also we will get same answer let us divide 202 is the 200 right yes so 5 minus 0 5 3 minus 0 3 next 2 minus 2 0 right now it will not divisible we'll take point next 103 is a 300 so 0 5 0 now again we will take direct 0 105 is a 500 right so what we get answer here 2.35 right so the 235 paisa means rupees 2.35 got it children so so remaining questions we can discuss next session Okay?